This is a Figma prototype using Boolean variables. In this video, we'll walk through how to create Boolean variables and use them for prototyping a simple kiosk menu. Boolean is a programming term that refers to data that can be only true or false. Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. Our file contains some components for our card and a frame with our kiosk menu for FigBytes. In the menu, you can see four tasty sandwiches our prototype testers can choose from. We're going to create a prototype that makes our order items appear on the right when we click a menu item on the left. First, let's make sure our cards have an interactive state for when they are pressed. Let's zoom into our components area on the left by pressing the Z key and then drawing a box around the component frame. Now switch into prototype mode by clicking prototype in the top of the right side panel. Back at our components, let's create a connection between the big card on the left to the active variant on the right. Click on the small circle and drag to connect the active card. Now click on the dropdown that says instant and change it to dissolve and switch the easing to ease in and the duration to 50 milliseconds. Once someone clicks a card and sees the active state, we wanna have it fade away so they can make their next selection. To do this, create a connection from the active card to the first card. Click the dropdown that says on click and change it to after delay. Set the delay to 700 milliseconds. We'll also change our animation from instant to dissolve with ease out and 200 millisecond duration. Let's preview our prototype. Select the kiosk menu frame and press the shortcut shift spacebar to open a preview. Now click on a card to see the interaction we just set up. Looking good. You can create variables by clicking anywhere on the canvas to make sure you have nothing selected. Then head over to the local variables section of the right panel. Click the settings icon on the right and it will open the variables dialog. At the bottom of the dialog, click Create Variable and select Boolean. Name this variable Beef-Ordered and set it to False. Let me create Boolean variables for our last three menu items real quick. We need to set up the rest of our interactions so that when we click a card, it appears in the Your Order section of the kiosk. To do that, let's select our first small card in the Order section. Over in the Layer Settings, right-click on that Visibility icon again and select our Beef Boolean. That card should hide. Now click on the small pastrami card and do the same thing. I'll finish the other two real quick. Next, we want to switch into prototype mode and add interactions to each of our large cards. Select the roast beef card, click to open the interaction menu and press the plus in the upper right. Choose set variable from the drop-down menu that appears. Choose the beef ordered variable and then set it to true. To see that again, select our pastrami card, open the interaction menu, add a new interaction, as set variable, then set our pastrami variable to true. Let me do this for the other two real quick. Preview our prototype by selecting our kiosk frame and pressing shift plus spacebar, like we did before. Click on a card and voila, the small version appears in the orders area. But now we can't remove them once they've been added. For the last part of this byte, we'll fix that. Let's open our variables dialog. Turn them all to true so we can see the small cards again. Now select the X on the small roast beef card. Head over to our prototype area and add a new interaction. Choose set variable and set our beef variable to false. Let's do that to the rest of these too. Open our variables dialog again and make sure to turn these all back to false. Preview our prototype again and we can now click a card to add it to the order and click the X to remove it. What we can't do is add multiples or see our total cost. We'll cover that in upcoming videos. That's how you use Boolean variables and prototypes. I hope this Figma Byte helps you bravely battle Booleans in your brilliant prototypes. Thanks for watching.